Well, there's one gimmick we've been saving for you, Mr. Omberg. Can you point that out? $400 for it in this country. Well, I, I think the real difference is that our research and development caters to the day to explain the Leningrad P2. With us in our studios is Mr. Arthur C. Omberg, Director of Research and Engineering for the Bendix Radio Division of the Bendix Aviation Corporation. Mr. Omberg, what are some of the features of the Leningrad T2? Well, as you can see, it's a table model set. It has a rather small tube, only an 8-inch tube, and uh, actually the color of it is green, uh, which is not very good by American standards. It has the conventional television controls in front. And uh, up here, we have the standard broadcast, an FM, shortwave, and phonograph. It may be good looking, but how does it compare with American TV? Well, it, it gives an excellent picture, though it's not very sensitive. It wouldn't work in the suburbs. It would only work close to the station. That, that means that um, Russian TV viewers uh, certainly get only the Russian station. They, uh, the sets are then so fixed that they couldn't receive any programs broadcast from outside the country. Well, that, that could be the purpose of it. Generally, the design is about at the level, technically, that we were before the war. The uh, set is generally a pretty expensive set to build. Now, there's one gimmick on the Leningrad T2 we've been saving for you. Mr. Omberg, can you point that out? Well, this set has a curtain on it also. Thus, the Iron Curtain influence even in TV.
I think that the Dodgers uh, will definitely have a chance next year. I've been with them for 14 years, and I've always thought they had a chance every year. I think that if uh, Campanella and Hodges and the rest of those fellows have the same type of year that they had last year, there's no doubt in my mind that the Dodgers will win again. And I hope that uh, if they do, I hope that the Yankees will win so we'll have another shot at them. <laughs>